Hey, well, what's up, everyone? Welcome to The Collision. Daniel here, and I am very honored to be joined by a special guest today, Jeannie Obdite-Smith, who is a speaker and author, as well as the daughter of Irene Goot Obdite, who is the subject of the exciting, powerful new film, Irina's Vow. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk about uh, your mother and this new film that's releasing. Oh, it's absolutely my pleasure. Thanks for asking me. And I know at the, the end of this film, um, there's some title cards that reveal some of the, you know, the historical details. And one of the the ones that stood out to me was that your mother actually didn't speak publicly. She did not share this story for for many years after uh, she was able to, to immigrate to the United States. Um, maybe can you share a bit of what did cause kind of the, the change of heart to begin uh, to publicly uh, share about her experiences? And maybe also kind of related to that is what was it like as her daughter uh, to begin to hear all these stories about your mother for the first time? Um, my mom, like a lot of people that survived the Holocaust, I ended up not talking about it. Some because of guilt, because they survived and other people didn't, or some because they had to do things they never in their normal life would have had to have done. Um, and so when mom came to this country, she literally put a do not disturb sign over her memories. And it it stayed up there until I was about 14. My dad and her and I were having dinner one night and she received a phone call from a young man, a college student who was doing a survey for a report in school. And his subject was the Holocaust never happened. He uh, he believed that it was just propaganda by the Jews, so we'd feel sorry for them. And he was calling random people to find out what they thought. That shocked my mother so much that someone who wasn't even alive during that time um, could think that. And all I know is I was eating dinner and all these words were tumbling out of her mouth. And... Uh, you know, when she hung up the phone, he finally uh, hung up on her. He didn't want to hear anymore. But she stood there holding the receiver. And she said, all these years that I've kept silent, I've allowed evil. Um, I've allowed the enemy to win. And she said, from now on, I will talk to anyone so that these things never repeat themselves. And so that was the first time I heard it. And it took me years really to hear the whole story i could see that it was upsetting to her and uh, i just didn't want to ask her questions uh, maybe i didn't want to know and i certainly didn't want to cause her pain but it uh, it wasn't until i was older and went with her to a high school where she was doing a talk to students that i really heard the story and really saw the impact that her story made on the youth yeah and it's amazing how sometimes how god works of just an unwanted phone call, uh, you know, intruding on a dinner, and all of a sudden this this powerful testimony that I know has changed many lives inspired. Um, yes, he sure does. And his timing is perfect. And you, obviously, you, like you just mentioned, you heard many of these stories, probably all of them for the first time, directly from um, your mother. But you've also had a, a unique opportunity to to experience your, you know, your family's legacy through different mediums first with a stage play and then now through uh, uh, a feature film. What has yes. that been like? How has that been both with the, the stage play and then now with this film? <laughs> How has that experience been? It's been absolutely uh, crazy, honestly. It was never my intention to be a public speaker. I uh, did kids and I did horses. Um, and so sp <laughs> public speaking was not it for me. But when my mom passed away quite suddenly, um, she had 11 speaking engagements lined up for the future. And when I called to cancel them, one was only two weeks away in Los Angeles. And they said, can you please come? We, we can't get somebody else in such short notice. And I literally said no and hung up the phone. And then, you know, it was heavy on my heart. God was saying, are you going to let the story die with her? Are you going to just let it go? And I knew I couldn't do that. So I called back and we worked out a plan to make it a panel discussion. And it just started slowly. And, uh, you know, I feel her presence every time I, I uh, tell the story. And I hope she keeps showing up. <laughs> 
And um, I'm curious with this film too, because you know, there it it obviously focuses on just a specific, a uh, very pivotal moment in your in your mother's life. But having having watched the film, is there anything in the film, either like an event that happened, or else even just like a characteristic of your mother, or anything that maybe the film doesn't convey that you maybe wish that it would have uh, been able to share as part of her story? Oh, well, there's so much. You, you have to realize, you know, I know my knew my mother as a much older woman uh, who had time to, to sift through all the things that happened. But my mom's passion really was for young people um, to to tell them that, you know, we have opportunities every single day to make a difference, you know, to show kindness, to uh, befriend somebody, you know, and, and she would say, you know, pray every morning, God, give to see hurt and suffering and pain um, and loneliness uh, because those are gifts that we can give freely over and over again you know and and that truly was her passion you know my inheritance when my mom died were letters and pictures and drawings from students all over literally the world um you know letting her know what what she did made a difference in their lives and telling her about the things that they were able to do for other people and I know your mother um, was a, a, a woman of strong faith. And this film does touch on that through, through several scenes of, of her praying, her um, attending church. But can you maybe speak a bit on that of just kind of as someone that knew your mother better than anyone, sort of the what role did her faith play both in sort of inspiring her for action, but also just helping her persevere through just the horrific experiences that she went through? Yeah. Um, it, it was a, a huge role. It, it was the power that got her through. You know, she grew up in a, a, a Catholic family um, who was very devoted. My mom said that it, her faith in God had nothing really to do with the denomination. Um, it was just a real personal relationship. And, you know, she just trusted from early on until the last day that she passed away, that if God opened up a door for her, he would be there to see her through. Um, and so she just never felt alone. And, you know, she just had a good sense of his presence and what she needed to do. And she had a, a very childlike trust that saw her through her whole life. Yeah. And, and this film is an example that God is continuing to open up doors to uh, to share, you know, to share her story. And I know for a lot of audiences, this will be their first uh, time to be, you know, uh, experience what she went through and be inspired by that. Uh, but kind of as you alluded to just a, a few moments ago that you have had the, um, maybe unwillingly at first, but you have had the opportunity to travel around the world uh, just sharing about her legacy, uh, about her faith. What has that been like? Has, has there been any um, kind of what have you seen that story as you've, you know, front row seat to see how it continues to impact and inspire people even today? Well, my audiences are pretty varied. Um, one of the largest audiences I have are with the Jewish community who I have just come to love. And, um, you know, being able to share that story and to see their appreciation and, you know, be able to honor them. I mean, after all, Judaism is at the root of my faith. And so, you know, it just, it feels like a real honor to be able to, to speak with them. And then, you know, again, the students, um, it's amazing to talk to middle schoolers and high schoolers and sometimes wonder if they're listening and then hear feedback, um, you know, or get notes or emails from them. So, it, it, you know, we just can't, we cannot put a limit on what good can happen, what someone hears and takes away, you know, and how it changes their life. And maybe just as a final question, kind of um, piggybacking on that, because obviously there have been um, a lot of World War II stories, stories centered in on um, on that, you know, t you know, horrific events of, of that war. But there is something unique about sort of your mother's perspective and your mother's story and sort of, a, a look into those uh, the sacrifices she made as a, a young, um, you know, really abandoned woman. What do you hope audiences that are seeing the story for the first time? Like, what is your prayer? Your hope that they take away from this story? 
Thanks. That's a great question. You know, you like you said, my mom was away from home. She had no parents, no family to back her up, no house to go to, um, nobody. And she was young, but she was able to make a difference. And, you know, my mom ended every talk, and now I do too, stressing that, that one person can make a difference. Um you know, we don't have to be any superstar. We don't have to be. She hated if somebody called her a hero because it puts, well, sure, they can do it. They're a hero or they're an angel or whatever, all the terms that she's been called. And it's not true. You know, she's flesh and blood, flawed human being, just like every single one of us are. Um, but yet um, she saw opportunity. She had a strong sense of what was right and wrong. And, you know, she walked the walk. She just took one step at a time. I've heard her say that if she would have had a chance to do it over again and not done any of those things, she certainly wouldn't have been gang raped or had all the things that had happened to her but she said she would have never been able to live with herself, you know, knowing that she could have done something and didn't. So, you know, she appreciated every single day of her life up until the very end. Well, this is a it's a powerful film it is an excellently made film. And more than that, it's an incredible story of just of faithfulness, of, like you said, of the, the power of one life to, to make a difference. And I do pray that through this film, more and more people will continue to be impacted by just your 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 legacy and your mother's legacy. But I want to thank you. I know this is a busy time for, for you, but really appreciate, honored to, to be able to hear from you and as you continue to, to just share this um, amazing story with the world. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure.